New Tool Day Tuesday. Today is the day that I share with you unique or useful tools that I myself use all the time. Now today's video is a little odd and I've kind of been putting it off for a very long time because I really don't know how to present it in a unique entertaining way. But we're going to give it a shot and we're basically going to talk about pens and pencils and markers and you know all kinds of things like punches and dike them. Uh, we just want to go over the general tools that I personally use uh, that I find useful. Now some of these pencils and pens and sharpies are incredibly unique and they're not something you're going to find in your local hardware store. Uh, but you may want to buy them and as usual I will put a link down below for everything that I am using. Now let's talk about the boring stuff and get that out of the way. Uh, we have a couple of pencils on the desk here and one of them is just a standard carpenter pencil and I really like this brand because it's bright green so it's easy for me to find. I don't lose it as easy as I do some of the other colors uh, and this one has a measuring device built onto it. It actually has inches on one corner and it has centimeters on the other corner. So if you can remember to sharpen it at the long end and <laughs> not zero inches, it's a very useful tool and there's been many times we only needed to measure a few inches and these pencils come in handy. Now we all know there's all kinds of uses on carpenter pencils but basically the whole point is the the lead or graphite is really thick so it doesn't break off like a standard mechanical pencil that you would find in a supermarket. It's flat so it doesn't roll away when you're working on it and uh, it's also uh, just the right thickness so when you're spacing boards, deck boards, that's about the right space that you want to space them at. So it can be a very useful tool. But this is the King Daddy of pencils. It's made by Pika. And uh, the reason I like this, it's got a long neck so that you can reach down into some very tight areas. So if you have something like this and you want to mark through the hole, a carpenter pencil is just too fat. It only goes down so far. Uh, but this particular pencil with its long neck, you can reach down in there and be very precise with your marking. It also has a fatter piece of graphite, so it doesn't break off as easy. And this one, as it's mechanical, you can also sharpen the tip and make it a very fine point so you can get very detailed with it. I really like these. Again, it's made by Pika. Pika also makes a really good permanent marker. Uh, the one thing I really like about them is the fact that the tips are also small, just like their pencils. So you can get them in areas that you just can't get a Sharpie. The other thing I like is the tips hold up really well. I'm not saying that Sharpies are not great utensils, but with my experience, even if you buy the fine like this one, if you use it on coarse materials like wood and rusted out metal, it kind of dulls the tip a little bit. Where the Pikas, they hold up really well. I also like the casing that Pika uses. They use this kind of harder, you know, plastic you can step on it and it doesn't break. It's got a nice little clip so you can put it on your shirt or pants or belt if you want to. Uh, and they seem to hold up really well. The only thing I don't like about the Pika uh, markers is they're kind of expensive. When marking metals, I pretty much use two things. I either use a soapstone device like this guy, and it works really well on rusty metal. It doesn't work so great on very clean metal, but it will get the job done. The problem with soapstone is there's really no soapstone devices that have a really detailed point unless you sand this down into a point, and who wants to do that? But it's pretty good for you know work that doesn't need a lot of detail, and it's handy to have around. But my, my main go-to is these grease pencils and I really like grease pencils. They are um, pretty cool. They work well on rusty metal and they work well on clean metal. Uh, this is just a standard grease pencil that you sharpen with a pencil sharpener. I really prefer these, which is made by Silver Streak, and they're just a mechanical version of a grease pencil. They work exceptionally well and you can get very detailed with your mark. A center punch is one of those tools that you're going to want to keep in your arsenal of tools. Uh, it took me a long time before I learned how valuable these can actually be. But what they're really good for is piloting a hole. They're also good for making very small marks, but basically when you want to pilot a hole, you um, put the tip where you want the hole to start and you shove straight down. They are spring loaded. <laughs> So they make a click like that and they put a perfect little dent exactly in the area that you want to start your drill bit. Dicom ink is also another useful product to have in your arsenal of tools. You see a lot of machinists use this and the way it works is you paint it onto the area that you want to mark and then you scribe onto that and it'll take off the area that you're actually marking. So if you take a scribe and you mark your line you can get a very, very, very detailed line with Dicom.
So see that line is, is exceptionally detailed. It's very useful for machinists because they need to have the precision that that's gonna give you. Speaking of scribes, well, you're gonna want one of those too. Now they sell scribes with diamond tips and they sell them with just hardened steel tips, but regardless, they're also very handy. Sometimes you need to actually just kind of engrave maybe a piece of plastic. You can engrave some metal with scribes. Uh, they work really well on aluminum. You can get a very precision line that you're actually scratching into the surface with a scribe. A good compass is something you're really going to want to have as well. Yeah, I know compasses are great for when you're drawing circles, but really I find I use compasses for something else. They're really great when you're trying to mark a straight line like that. Never underestimate a chalk line. I know a lot of people think chalk lines are strictly for carpentry, but I use them for all kinds of things. If you want a straight line, it's really hard to beat a chalk line. Something else that a lot of people don't know is you can buy different types of chalk. You can buy a permanent chalk, uh, which doesn't clean off very well, and you can buy your standard chalk, which does. But if you need a straight line, a chalk line is really handy. I really hope you liked this video. Again, I was really struggling on how to present different marking tools. And I think it's really important that we have a lot of ways to mark things when we're building and designing and engineering other things. I wanna hear what you guys use to mark things. Write down below if you have something interesting that I didn't mention today that is very useful. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos at the very least you might be entertained. A quick bonus tip is to keep the pencil sharpener on a lanyard next to the trash can so you never lose it.